The Lindenberg Meteorological Observatory of the Deutsche Wetterdienst is situated approximately 50 kilometers to the southeast of Berlin. The observatory was founded in 1905 by Richard Assmann, one of the two scientists who discovered the stratosphere and whose name was later included in the observatory's official name, Lindenberg Meteorological Observatory, Richard Assmann Observatory. The observatory's key tasks are to examine the vertical structure of the atmosphere, to measure solar and sky radiation, and to study the processes of interaction between the Earth's surface and the atmosphere. The data obtained through all the different measuring programs are combined into a reference data set, the so-called Lindenberg Column. This data set serves to characterize the physical parameters and processes that occur in the atmosphere above Lindenberg from the ground up to the stratosphere. Among other things, it is used for climate monitoring purposes and for improving numerical weather forecasting models. In order to fulfill their large variety of tasks, the scientists at the Richard Assmann Observatory use different measuring methods. This includes four radio sonde launches per day, a routine procedure which has been carried out since 1947. All over the world, radio sounding is the standard method for determining the vertical profiles of air pressure, air temperature, air humidity and the wind conditions. Over approximately the last two decades, profile measurements have increasingly been taken using ground-based remote sensing methods that are based on sound waves, light waves and radio wave technologies. One of these techniques is radar wind profiling which makes it possible to measure the wind up to a height of 16 kilometers. RAMSIS, a laser-based light detection instrument for atmospheric moisture sensing, provides data on atmospheric water vapor, temperature and cloud particles. The powerful remote sensing techniques also allow for the detection of small-scale and short-lived structures in the atmosphere, which cannot be examined from 6 or 12 hourly radio soundings. Two of the observatory's measuring fields are specifically targeted at the air layers near the surface, the so-called atmospheric boundary layer. Masts that are up to 99 meters high are used to measure the profiles of temperature, wind and atmospheric water vapor. Other measurements are taken in order to examine the fluxes of heat, water vapor and energy between the land surface and the atmosphere. The Lindenberg Observatory also measures solar radiation and diffuse sky radiation as well as the radiation emitted from the Earth's surface at different wavelengths. For determining the global energy balance, radiation measurements from as many sites around the world as possible are needed. To ensure the comparability of radiation measurements, the measuring instruments installed at Lindenberg are regularly calibrated against international standards. Because of the wide variety of its responsibilities and competences, the Lindenberg Observatory is also an active participant in national and international networks. It plays a leading role, for example, in the global network of upper air reference stations. This network, the Global Climate Observing Systems Reference Upper Air Network, GRUAN, is aimed at obtaining high-quality data from the free atmosphere to be used in climate research. The lead center of Gruan is hosted at Lindenberg and, on behalf of the World Meteorological Organization, is responsible for the coordination and further development of the entire network. If you would like to learn more about the Lindenberg Meteorological Observatory, Richard Assmann Observatory and its tasks, come and visit our website at dwd.de slash mol. Deutscher Wetterdienst – für both weather and climate.